Okay, we want to find the antiderivative of this function. So we have the function to be the square root of x squared minus 1 divided by x. Okay, great. Now, I've noticed that in the numerator, I have this term, the square root of x squared minus 1. And when I, whenever I have a term like that appearing on an integral or in an integrand, okay, I like to make use of a trigonometric substitution. I would say that x should be secant theta. Let me just put it down. So let x be secant theta, right? Okay, great. And that and that's the reason why that is so is because if I have a secant in place of x and I square it and I subtract one from the square of secant theta, we are going to have a perfect square, which is just tangent square of theta, which can take which can take care of the square root. So the secant is a better option at that point, right? Okay, great. All right. And now let's see. Uh, when we have that, we now take the derivative of both sides with respect to theta. The derivative of secant of theta is secant theta times the tangent of theta, the theta. Okay, great. Now you notice that if x is secant theta, um, from there we can make theta the subject of formula by taking secant inverse of both sides, which means theta will be called secant inverse of x. Right? Secant inverse of x. Okay, that's very nice. Um, okay, let's just plug this back into the integral and see what we have. So this is going to become the integral of the square root of x squared. x is now secant theta, so it's going to be the square of secant theta, right? Minus 1, and then we divide that by x, which is just secant of theta, and then dx. dx is the whole of that. So we put it down, secant of theta times the tangent of theta the theta okay great and now uh, you see that this and that will cancel out right and then secant square of theta minus 1 this term here under the square root sign secant square of theta minus 1 is exactly equal to tangent square of theta so when you take the square root of tangent squared it is going to give us just tangent right that is just from the trigonometric identities so this means we're going to have tangent at the top uh, we've cancelled the secant at the bottom, so let me write it properly. So this is going to give us tangent theta. This is gone with this, so we have only another tangent here, which means we are going to have to square that, the theta. Okay, very nice. And now let me rewrite this in some way. Tangent squared of theta, as I said earlier, secant squared of theta minus 1 is something as tangent squared of theta. So let me just put it down here as secant squared of theta minus 1 right the data okay great and now we have to find the antiderivative of the difference of these two functions so you notice that the antiderivative of the difference of two functions is the difference of the antiderivative of those two functions so that tells us that if we can find the integral of this the antiderivative of this and that then we are done right great so the antiderivative of second square of x of theta now if we take the derivative of tangent of theta we get secant square of theta so that means that the antiderivative of secant squared of theta over the theta variable will give us the tangent of theta, right? And then the antiderivative of 1 over the theta variable will just be theta. Okay, great. I won't say we were going to be done, but we are not done yet because we need to get back to the x variable. And we can just do that easily by backward substitution. Okay, let's continue over here. Uh, now, you notice that... As I said here, that secant of theta should be equal to x, right? So let me just put it down here for you. If we have this right here, I like using this a lot, and this is a right angle triangle, right? And uh, we have secant of an angle giving us x over 1. This is just like x over 1. You notice secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. That is going to be x hypotenuse over 1 adjacent, all right? Leaving us with this other side to, si to, to, to find. And I can do that easily by using the Pythagoras rule, which tells us that the other side will be x squared minus 1 squared. So I can just rewrite 1 squared as 1. So that's the square root of that. Okay, great. Now, given that theta is the angle, tangent of theta will be opposite over adjacent. That is just this over 1, which is just that. So that means this is going to become square root of x squared 
minus 1. Alright? And then minus theta. What is theta? Theta is secant inverse of x. Secant inverse of x. And then we add an arbitrary constant to that. This right here is the antiderivative of the function over there. Okay? Maybe let me put it down here for you. Alright, great. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.